Straight away, doggy. Fishing squad. Um, it's morning after we caught them mackerel at Brid Harbour last night. Uh, I've got three here, I'm going to fillet them and we're going to have them for breakfast with some fresh tomatoes, maybe some mushrooms, and some scrambled egg. Um, we've got that nice size mackerel. I'm just going to go through how I fillet them and stuff. Well, I've done with them at the minute. I'll just spin you around, just wait there a second. Right, so filleted one. I'm now going to crack on and get the other other two done. Um, a couple of things to look out for because I've been washing fresh water. The flesh, it's actually coming away from the skin already. I don't know if you can see that. There's also a black membrane that we've got to take off. What the gut, the guts were like sitting in. If you know what I mean. Um, so I'm going to get on, get them, get them, get them filleted. Just gonna let, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to. I'm not going to be able to do it that way around, I don't think. I'm going to spin it around the other way. <laughs> going behind the, the, the fin where the head is, just before, just behind the head there. About a couple of mil this way. Don't go too close to the fin because there's a bit of bone that you can <coughs> cut off. Cut down to the backbone. I'm going to hit the backbone. Slide your knife down. There's a fin underneath his chin that you just need to cut out. Or it does pull off. You can have to cut it out with a knife or pull it off. It pulls it off fine. So then, get rid of that fin. I've got a sandwich bag just beside me, as you can see. What I'm going to put any waste that's going to come off this skeleton, like its head, its tail, its backbone. They'll be used for tote bait or making shark chum for sharks, whatever. So you're going behind where you've cut down to the backbone. Angle your knife across back towards yourself. Then just have your knife at a slight angle as you come down the backbone, going all the way to the tail. If you look, you can see my knife is on a slight angle cutting the flesh away from the backbone itself. Just continually slide it down. Yeah. <coughs> this is the best way to probably prepare mackerel for like your family if you're having it with your kids and stuff. Because you can get most of the bones out of it by doing it this way. You can see the flesh ain't, ain't very good because it's been rinsed in fresh, fresh water. It's still good enough to eat. Don't get me wrong. Then do it the other side. I cut down behind the fin again. Because I'm not left-handed, I have to put it on its. On, I have to pick the mackerel up. Just wait there, I'm just, and then like where its fin line is, this side of its fin line, I just have to score it with a knife, like a pilot line, if you like. If I don't do this, I tend to find that I end up I make a mess of it. It just gives me an an, an, entry, an, an exit for the knife when I'm running it along the backbone. 
if you're left-handed, you'll find it easier fill filleting fish this way. Because I'm right and I find it easier filleting them the other way around. So we're just going to come down now along the backbone, all the way along. Again, having your knife at an angle just so it cuts the flesh off the uh, the backbone itself. You can sometimes catch the backbone, but the bones, the, the, the bit of chipping a bone off the backbone, don't really cause any problems when you come to eat it. Just end up with a little bit if you get it wrong. Just a bit of practice. I've been doing this for <coughs> since about ten years old, so. You know, more more fish you, you got, the better. The easier it is, should I say. Right down to the tail. Again. That's your fillet. So then I'm going to slice the, these bits up, what I left of the mackerel, put them in a sandwich bag. I'll probably take them through to North Wales when I go to fishing. Them, them heads on these mackerel are massive, aren't they? There'll be loads of juice that comes out of them, scent and stuff. So I'll get on and do this last one. So I'm just taking last fillet off the last fish. There's a couple of things to just bear in mind what you still need to do. They still need a rinse in fresh water, unfortunately. There's also a black membrane, again, what I mentioned earlier. You can take that out, but you can also cut the bones out of it at the same time. So you can like take the rib cage out and the black membrane at the same time. This is what I'm going to be doing now. Just gently run your knife. Just need to skim the top of them bones, run your knife down at an angle so it doesn't take all the flesh off there. One thing when you do wash it with fresh water, the bones come out easy because the flesh starts falling to put apart, so it can be easier to get bones out. That's one good thing, I suppose, about fresh water is that washing your fish and fillets in fresh water. That's the only good thing I can find. But if you just scrape it out with a knife, then when you run it under the tap, you can rub it out, rub it out with your fingers, then what's left, any residue that's left. So, uh, Straightforward enough. That that membrane's just a bit bitter, that's all.
So that's all fillets about done. So we're going to give them a, well they are done, we're just going to need to give them a rinse and a bit more of a clean. Then they'll be ready. When I think we're going to dust them in flour with salt and pepper. See how that goes, I'm just putting it in a frying pan with a bit of oil, a bit of a bit of butter. See how that goes. So we'll just try and, if you've got any black membrane left, try and uh, take that out like I'm doing now. Sometimes, well, if you don't rinse them in something, I know I keep I banged on about don't rinse them in fresh water. I, I don't agree with rinsing them in fresh water, as you can probably tell. But if they do need to be rinsed. Don't be, don't catch a fish, gut it, and put it straight in the frying pan with all the blood in it. It really is an intense flavour of mackerel if you if you do that. It can be overpowering. Like really overpowering. But these fillets are awesome. Look how meaty they are. There was some, there was some size of mackerel then. They were massive. I mean it's a bit of a, it's a bit it's a bit strange why they're not so big. The ones I get in Irish Sea aren't the same sort of size as these. You get odd one that's fairly large, but not not as big as these. Nowhere near. So right now, so we're gonna dust them in flour. You can see they're all nice and cleaned. Bit of salt and pepper in a bowl. Pour your, flat, pour your flour in. Just give it a bit of a mix with fork and get all the mumps out. And that's ready to go. Give it a stir. It's ready to go. Just want dipping in there now and then putting it in a frying pan. Bit of oil. And I'll just get a knob of butter to go in with them. There you go. Just adds a bit, a bit more flavour to things. I've got some scrambled eggs. I'm going to have some scrambled eggs with these mackerel here. Put some heat on, just get these pans warmed up a bit. On the back pan I'm gonna put some mushrooms in. So it should be lovely. It should be lovely this, it really should be. Dusted one at first. Just lightly dusted. I like to go in flesh side down first. Because of how they've been washed in fresh water, it, um, it seals it and stops the fillet falling to bits. So we'll crack on and get them all done. Try and keep the heat light, you don't want it to be too crackling, you know what I mean? Not light heat, I think it might, might be a bit warm here, so I've not knocked it down. I just took it off as well, temporarily. So we're going to get cracked on and get these done, get them cooked, then we'll serve. Turn them, you see how that's got some colour on them now, so they're sealed, so they're not going to fall apart. I want some, some similar colour on the other side. They should be delicious. Got some fresh tomatoes sliced, a bit of mushroom. And some scrambled egg coming right up in microwave. That's it. Two pieces of mackerel, mushrooms, tomatoes, yeah. and scrambled egg. Lovely, jumbly. Toast. <laughs>